welcome back to the workshop. So today in this video, we're going to be doing a bit of woodworking. And we're going to be making, as you've seen in the thumbnail, you know what it looks like before I do the note. <laughs> it's a wee birdhouse. Now, I'm making this wee birdhouse for somebody, eh, a neighbour who helped us out. It was like, away last year. So aye, this is what I've got here. And I want to make it small because we want to actually encourage birds to go in it. I found that when you make big massive bird houses, you know, birds don't want to nest in it, they don't want to lay their eggs and something. It smell work. See me a big massive bird house. Um oh, it smell work for the wee bird to fill that up. So when you get a wee small thing, it's more encouraging to the bird to use that to nest in. So I twenty six centimetres. Um 26 centimetres by 13 centimetres, so it's an alright wee size, you know. Um, make it a wee, wee slanted roof. It's a side view here, front there. Make a wee fence and that. And we'll have it sitting in a bigger bit of wood. I'm going to be using a uh, old, uh, it's, it's an old uh, pallet crate, so it's just pine. Um, not the best material for being outdoors, but if we seal it, you know, we varnished them, we should be alright. Like, I've got loads of oak strips there for a reclaimed table. So we're going to make the wee fence out of oak. Um, and might put some oak strips in it and that. Might do that. And I've got some felt there. And I think I'm going to cut like wee patches out. And we'll put like wee patches, we'll tile the wee patches on the roof. I like, man, it'll be... It'll look really cool when it's done, and it's a fun wee project, you know, so let's get to it, man. Fuse on number six. that hump out. Now we just need to take these bits down. I'll do. I'm just going to plain these grooves off as well. Sweet. So, just got to do the same with this one. So I've planed everything and I've marked it all out. Just all the pieces that I need. Um, and as, as I thought, I'm going to need a spare bit, so I'm going to use this bit here for the actual uh, bottom part. Uh, I just need to plane it and just get it dimensioned ready. Use the bandsaw and table saw. So to join the boards, I'm wanting to do a, a, a rebate miter joint, or can be known, it can be known as a, a, a lap joint, but it's mitered together. So 
basically this here. Got all the joints uh, marked out, and we'll just cut them. We'll just cut the lap into it first, and then we can focus on the meter after. Join not nicely, but they, as I said, they're only perfect like that. We gap there, but we can, we can work with that. We can work around it. Um, so I need to trim this one. See, all these bits here, we want them all to be in the same plane as this. So put it together and just mark them and cut them at the angle. The same way, the roof, we want the roof to come down, we want the roof to come down this bit, uh, so it's plumb, with the rest. Um, but the next bit we want to do, is we want to put our wee features in this, our wee grooves. Make a wee pilot hole to begin with, and then we'll use the drill pillar. Hmm. So I'm going to get this thing glued up the night so I can get it dried, and um, then we can start working on the actual bottom. I want to cut a wee groove into it just so that we can set, you know, this into the groove itself. Was murder to try and get that clamped properly. It was a pain there, look. <laughs> so I'm just going to gently push it aside and we'll do something with the yeah, bottom. That's there. the bottom, the tap. So I'm going to put a chamfer around all the edges here. Uh, and then, same with this. Really, I'm covering this, but we don't want this sharp corner when we're going to put the felt on. So having a wee chamfer will be, will be better as well. So I'll just quickly do that. Look. Seems to have all joined nicely. Yeah, it's alright. But unfortunately, we've got glue here like that. Um, run it through the table saw again just to get rid of these bits. Mm, still square. There we go.
There we go. Sitting in there nicely, man. So what I want to do now is I want to line the roof way felt. this process or the there we go there's the roof, man. Look. A shame that that nail's there, look, but it's the only way I could hold it there. Um, but no, it looks pretty cool, man, to me. Look. <laughs> so what I want to make next spot is is the wee fences, and I want to get some uh, stain on it tonight. Look, well, these oak strips. I'll go make the fence out of this, but I need to make posts, so... Right, we'll leave that to dry all night. That's a good size. So the next thing we need, we've got the slats, post is drying, so we need a stringer. I want to give this side a wee stain. There go man, it looks alright. Day the mortises for this bit. I guess I can glue the actual box to the base. Still need the mortises on that side. So I get these cut in half and then I'll run them on the sand all I've got them all ready, so basically ready to assemble, put together, um, and glue. Glue would be probably the easiest option, but the easiest option isn't always the best option, you know. So I think I'm going to try and make some uh, some wee nails. So I've got a bit of stainless steel here. So let's get to the lathe and turn down some nails.
minus 30. Still need to clean up the heat to them. Look. And there's our wee nails. Teeny wee things. Look. And I'm just going to glue it up to start with. And once the glue is set a wee bit, I'll use my Dremel to drill my hole and I'll put my wee nails in. Look. I'm just gonna get a wee teeny bit of super glue in here just to just to help. Uh -huh. That looks so cool man look. We got that some both done. It would be cool actually, I was sitting thinking about that there. Another wee bit here than a gate. <laughs> you know <laughs> Oh, that would have been cool, but I might not sweet it. So I want to get this roof glued on. I need to varnish in here. I'll just get a wee quick coat inside, um, and then I can just get the roof glued on the night. Top. Got a nice seal or in it. Fancy solid, solid man, sweet. Right. So just for a bit of extra security, um I'll drill some screws and I'll go under I'll go under one of the wee flaps and I'll drill some screws. Always forget to put my maker's mark on things that I make, look. So I'll just... Sweet. I remembered uh, when I was designing it at the start that like, I'd thought about putting trim around the side of it. So I've made these wee trim bits with chamfers on them. Um, to go around the side at the top. Start getting some coats done in this now. I thought it'd be a cool wee idea, like the wee grip after the felt. And I'd sort of sprinkled it on this bit to make like a wee path. That'd be cool. I'm going to pick up the plenty. There's a wee path there, man. Look. That looks pretty cool. Let's man. move on to the stand. Just a wee post. Obviously, four legs. Just threw that together. But we'll make a wee box like that that this bit, well, or the, the bird house can slide onto. in the middle, make a square.
these lap joints done, which I'll just do that on the table saw. So what next? I need to make my bits for here. I should have cut a lead groove, like one centimetre groove in here just for the pole, just to sit in. I'll probably just uh, chisel out a wee one centimetre groove in there, just for the pole to sit in. Uh, Glued and screwed to the bottom of the nose. Pretty solid as it is, but we'll still need our supporting beams. I'll drill, um, you know, obviously it's a wee small pilot hole, but then I'm going to drill again because I want to plug it. I don't want to, I don't want the screws to be seen. So not much because I've got to be held. Right, I'm just going to throw plugs together, just same as I've done for that. So I just threw a sweet box together and I'm just going to put dills in it. But done. I went a wee bit overboard with the with the curves so that I was going for a kind of plant pot type look and I just went into these dills a bit but it makes no difference you know it's still solid look uh, and obviously I'm going to be painting all this uh, or staining it and glossing it so what I need to do is uh, for this bit here just going to chop it um, and then just trim it down a bit and then I'm going to either put uh, like quarter circles or a chamfer look Oh, 
but I just need to stain and varnish this the new. There we go. No, it's just a waiting game. So we are all dry now. Um, and as I thought, like, I made it really tight going on there. So it doesn't go in the way the varnish looks. So I've just had to just chisel it a wee bit inside. And I'm just going to put some slits here. And then we're going to glue it on place so it's permanent lit. That should be enough. Running out of this. So the next shot you'll see, we'll be delivering it and uh, seeing it in our garden. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed making that. I enjoyed making stuff like that. And most importantly, my neighbour was ecstatic, you know. Um, I made that as a thank you to her you know for helping us out they obviously tried off my money but i was like it was a gift like that you know it all went together well and there was one or two wee problems um when i was doing the uh, the the rebate mitre or the lap mitre i just sort of overcut the lap a wee bit but it wasn't a problem um and then when i put the varnish on it was just a bit thick and I just, uh, uh, I put it on, it was a bit blotchy so I had to sort of, I had to sort of scrape the front of the app and redate it but uh, it turned out alright, it turned out good um, but I've not really worked with kind of, that kind of varnish before, really thick varnish. I made the same mistake when I, when I put a varnish on this slit um, I have no patience in that way you know so um, I guys, I hope you enjoyed it um, and if you liked the bird house like that and you want to see more subscribe to the channel as i'm always uploading at least once a week and um, so i take it easy god bless guys all right and build some see you later guys